So we're here on Silver Peak on a north facing slope. As you can see, there's very little wind today. Uh, almost no east wind, no snow transport up high. Um, don't see very much natural avalanche activity from yesterday either on the peaks to our north. Um, of course, we are looking at mostly south facing peaks. Um, here in the snow pit, we've got uh, new snow down to a crust layer right here. Um, we have a, a small density inversion where it's a little bit harder than fist. Fist plus here goes to forefinger right above it um, with a small grapple layer um, right at the top of that forefinger layer. Um, and then goes back to fist up high here. Um, so we have a couple different layers in the new snow. Um, which are bonding well to each other, it seems like. We're going to do an extended column test um, and see as a measure of how well these layers are bonding and if they can propagate force. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen. As you can see, some of these things are just falling apart under the shovel. Um, no real propagation or fractures in it yet. 20. And there we have a small fracture right down here near the base of that fist layer, um, some of the recent snow. We'll see if it propagates all the way across the column or not. Nope. Two, two, three. And again, there's another small fracture down here, um, and that's right on that grapple layer. Um, we'll see if that propagates or not. Four. Nope. Seven, eight, nine, and there we had a failure um, just at the density change where it went from slightly softer snow to slightly harder snow above it. Uh, but again, that did not propagate all the way across. And that's 30. So we don't get any propagation results in our extended column test.